Top 10 Kids Explain on Jimmy Kimmel Kids are the most innocent human beings. Sometimes their opinions and views can be totally rib-cracking. What goes in the room? I don't know. A cow walking back. In this video, we've compiled some of the most hilarious Kids Explain moments on Jimmy Kimmel. Lugged in the hair. That's true. Get ready to have your ribs cracked and remember to comment with your favorite explanation after viewing the video. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Let's get it going. 10. Do you know any bad words? It's possible for kids to hear some naughty words from adults or on the TV. Typically, a well-brought-up kid will avoid any curse words or naughty words in the presence of their parents or other adults. Jimmy Kimmel came across a video of a dad who asked his son to mention all the curse words he knew. Shut up, butthead, butthole. In the interest of science, he sent his crew to the streets to ask kids if they knew any bad words. Some of the answers given were hilarious. And and Some refused to mention any naughty words, probably because they were told to never say them. The most common nasty word the kids knew was stupid and you are ugly. Stupid. Um. The rest included words like poop and donkey, and the others were a clear indication that the children have lost their innocent vocabulary, to say the least, and that we seriously need to mind our language in the presence of kids. It's still a challenge for many adults to wrap their heads around gay marriages. The big issue for the adults is how they'd explain gay marriages to their children. Well, it's not a problem anymore because many kids already know what is meant by the term. 9. What are gay marriages? The crew from the show took to the streets to ask kids questions about marriage and especially gay unions. Some of the kids weren't as clueless as the team expected them to be. At least there were those who knew that gay marriages occur between people of the same sex. However, other children had the most outrageous answers to the question. For instance, the cameraman asked a young boy, when should people get married? Of course, the answer expected should have been when they are in love or something close. The young boy answered, in the afternoon. The afternoon? They also had reasons why people should or shouldn't get married. According to the kids, people get married when there's a connection or a pregnancy. One said that he didn't want to get married because the other person would be entitled to all his finances. The other person is enti entitled to any money um, the other person has. Like gay marriages, love is also not easy to explain to a kid unless it's a kid of the 21st century. Today's kids probably know more than the adults. Let's have a look. 8. What is love? Okay, maybe not many of them know so much about love. Many kids are still clueless. One of the kids couldn't explain what love was without using the same word more than five times. It's when you love somebody. And it's when you love somebody and it's really when you love somebody. Another one knew that to find love, a man had to approach a woman and tender was the right way to do that. Especially if it's chicken tender. Hilarious. Maybe. If it's chicken, we probably, they would probably like it. Chicken tinder. Yeah, I wouldn't know a lot. Those who had the courage revealed their crush while others were too shy to talk about it on television because a crush is supposed to be a secret. Is there anyone you have a crush on? It's a secret. I'm not telling anybody. And on one occasion, a kid evaded the question by offering to showcase some kicks. I, I, I can do kicks. I'll see the kicks. <laughs> The highlight of the day was when one of the kids said that she wasn't into love anymore. She wanted to be single and focus on her career until she was older. You'd think the kid had been living for at least 30 years or so. While other kids on shows like Ellen and Steve Harvey memorized the geography of the entire globe, kids on Jimmy Kimmel's show couldn't even mention five countries. 7. Which is the best country in the world? America is one of the superpowers and among the best countries to live in. Many people live in their native lands to fulfill their dreams in America. When Donald Trump was running for president, he said that he'd make America great again. Judging by some of the answers the kids gave when they were questioned about their beloved country, he still has a long way to go. American kids didn't even believe that their country was the best country in the world. In fact, the majority didn't know what was meant by a country except for one or two kids. Among the answers given for their favorite countries were Chicago, where we are now, Paris, California, New York, Yogurtland, and Disneyland. One of the kids' favorite countries was Japan because it had a beautiful palace with a king and a queen. Japan? How come? Because they have a very beautiful palace. 
Well, the kid admitted that she didn't learn any of that information anywhere, she just thought about it. Dating apps have been common over the years, but one which really piqued the interest of cheaters was the one which provided a safe space for adultery. Well, at least until the data from the site was leaked and many prominent people were put to shame. 6. What is adultery? Jimmy Kimmel's crew took to the streets to ask kids about what they understood about adultery. They were innocently clueless about the word or what it meant. According to one of the kids, adultery is being a movie star. And one of the biggest adulterers is Johnny Depp. Um, to be a movie star. Do you know anyone who's an adulterer? Um, Johnny Depp. In her defense, Johnny Depp has produced many films, and he's definitely a movie star. Another child explained that adultery is being an adult, and the best part of it is finally getting to drink. A young boy said that adultery was great parenting, and his parents were adulterers who were fun. The other answers ranged from a dog running to a tree for adults. <laughs> Which is actually a brilliant answer. It wasn't just the word adultery. The kids barely understood the idea of cheating. I guess we can safely conclude that these kids aren't accustomed to cheating. Surveys indicate that the majority of kids would rather spend time with their moms rather than their dads. People spend more money on gifts worldwide on Mother's Day than on Father's Day. Let's find out if the surveys are true or not. 5. Who do you love more, your mom or your dad? A parent would probably lie when asked which of their children they love the most, but a kid will definitely speak the truth if they're asked about their favorite parent. Kimmel's crew asked various kids in front of their parents whom they loved the most, and some of the answers were heartbreaking, for the lesser loved parent anyway. Mothers are supposedly nicer than fathers according to the kids. Out of all the kids, only one said that they love their dad more than their mom. Some kids love both parents, but in case of a disaster, they'd rather give up their dad than their mom. Sorry dads, it's going to take a while to bridge that gap. It's not that the kids don't love their fathers, it's just that they happen to love their mothers more. Many holiday practices are still a mystery to many people, like why bunnies and eggs are associated with Easter, or why we have Christmas trees during Christmas. Kids have no idea what the old-time religion meant, and the next segment is proof. 4. The Story of Christmas During the Christmas season, Jimmy Kimmel and his staff took the opportunity to ask kids to narrate the story of Christmas. You'd be shocked at how little they knew. Many had no idea Jesus was born on Christmas Day, who gave birth to Jesus, or anyone else who existed during the birth of Jesus. However, the kids believed that Santa goes back to when Jesus was born, and Mary left a couple of cookies for him on the first Christmas Day. At least some knew what the celebration was all about, even though the information was scattered in various places in their little minds. Many women have managed to break stereotypes which place men at the top of the ladder. However, there was a time when it was okay to pay men more than women regardless of whether they performed the same duties. 3. Why are women paid less than men? Kids explained why they thought men were paid more than women when camera operators from the show hit the streets. Supposedly, women were paid less because they didn't work as hard as men, and they're always doing other things like texting and running on the tracks. Women also did wrong stuff because they were never taught how to perform various tasks which are automatic to men. A young girl believed that women were always shopping online when they should be working. Well, it wasn't all bad. Some kids still believed in equality and thought that women should be paid more. At least one felt that if the country had a female president, things would be different. One particular young boy thought that women were underrated because they could do more if given the opportunity. A hilarious reason that was provided by a small girl who said that women were paid less because it's a messed up world. Children's minds are pure until they are introduced to the vices of society. Kids don't know about color, race, or politics. 2. Politics Kimmel believed that kids should grow up with political knowledge and participate in matters regarding governance. He sat down with a group of kids to chat about politics. The first problem was that they didn't even know what politics meant, so it was bound to be one hell of a session. At least they wanted to be presidents when they grew up, and the kids had a couple of reasons why the presidency was the right choice. First of all, the president doesn't have to drive because the work is in his house. He makes all the rules, and he is also protected. Then Jimmy asked the kids which parties they belong to. Let's just say the only parties they knew were family parties and, at most, birthdays. Henry's definition of the difference between a Democrat and a Republican was simply hilarious. Alton thought that one day the United States would have a white president because his dad is white, but he wouldn't vote for him if he vied because his dad was crazy. They also said that they were employed because they set dinner tables in their homes and Alton sold stuff from his box and he'd made up to $10. Way to go. Not only is it awkward, but it can also get very embarrassing to explain to a kid how a baby is made. 
We don't really allow parents to have such conversations with kids at an early age. Thanks to the lack of discussion regarding the topic, kids have their own explanations about how babies are made. I saved the best for last, but first I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. So if you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. 1. How babies are made It turned out, it's not just weird for adults to explain, but it's also awkward for kids to describe how babies are made. One said that the downstairs of a guy goes to the downstairs of a lady, This goes into the girl's downstairs. <laughs> and another one said that they were made in the boobs. <laughs> Fact that that's the feeding station for infants, so they must originate from the same place, right? One of the kids had seen Star Wars, and he had an idea about how babies were made, but he wasn't in fifth grade yet, so he wouldn't talk about it, and especially not on national TV. All he could reveal was that it was gross. The question seemed a bit difficult for a baby on a walker, and she decided to sing a couple of songs to entertain the crew instead. Thanks for watching and have an excellent day.